subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will talk about, developing solutions for Microsoft Azure exam, AZ204. This exam has been built to measure your ability to accomplish the defined technical tasks. These tasks include developing Azure Compute Solutions, developing for Azure Storage, implementing Azure Security. Why choose Microsoft Azure AZ204 exam? Since, you have decided to go for developing solutions for Microsoft Azure exam, that is, AZ204 exam, it is very important to understand its importance, and the benefits that comes along. First, the Microsoft Azure AZ204 exam regulates the ability of a candidate, to accomplish the technical tasks such as, develop for Azure storage, implementing Azure security, develop Azure compute solutions, monitoring, troubleshooting, and optimizing Azure solutions, and connecting to, and consume Azure assistance, and third-party services. Second, once a candidate successfully passes the Microsoft Azure, Beta AZ204, they will receive the Microsoft Certified, Azure Developer Associate Certification. Third, the Microsoft Certified, Azure Developer Associate is a component of a job role-based reorganizing, of the Microsoft certifications that started back in late 2018. Fourth, this particular certification is prepared for candidates, who are Azure developers in their regular job in building, and designing cloud-based software solutions using the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. Now, we will talk about, who should take the AZ204 exam. As prescribed, candidates for this exam should have at least one to two years of professional development experience, together with experience with Microsoft Azure. In addition, you should be able to perform programming, in a language supported by Azure, and proficiency in Azure SDKs, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI, data storage options, data connections, APIs, app authentication, and authorization, compute, and container deployment, debugging, performance tuning, and monitoring. It is also suggested for candidates taking this exam to have subject matter expertise in designing, building, testing, and maintaining cloud applications, and services on Microsoft Azure responsibilities for an Azure developer. Further, it includes participating in all phases of cloud development from requirements definition, and design, to development, deployment, and maintenance, performance tuning, and monitoring. Requirements for the Microsoft Azure AZ204 exam. The two necessary experience specifications for the Microsoft Azure AZ204 exam include. First, Applicants should have a minimum of 1 to 2 years of experience in the advancement of cloud solutions, and Microsoft Azure. Second, candidates should have encouraging fluency in programming in a high-level programming language, which is supported by Azure. Exam Details The Microsoft Azure, Beta AZ204 exam gives 150 minutes to a candidate to complete the exam, make sure that you complete, and recheck the exam within the given time period. And, the format of the exam is multi-response, and multiple choice questions. The Microsoft exam generally includes 40 to 60 number of questions, this can may vary depending on the nature of the exam. Also, the exam will cost a candidate approximately 165 US dollars. Further, the Microsoft Azure, Beta AZ204 exam, is available in the English language. Moreover, the Microsoft Azure, Beta AZ204 exam has no retirement date. Now we will discuss about, AZ204 course outline. It is extremely important for you, to have an in-depth understanding of the subject, and course outline, so that you do not miss on important details. So let's begin, by understanding the topics covered, and respective documentation to support your learning. First, develop Azure Compute Solutions, which compromises 25-30% to weightage in this exam. Second, Develop for Azure Storage, which compromises 10 to 15% weightage in this exam. Third, implement Azure Security, which compromises 15 to 20% weightage in this exam. Fourth, monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize Azure Solutions, which compromises 10 to 15% weightage in this exam. Fifth, connect to, and consume Azure Services, and third-party services, which compromises 25 to 30% weightage in this exam. Now, we will talk about course outline topics in detail. First, develop Azure Compute Solutions. Number 1. Implement IaaS Solutions. It contains six subtopics which are First, provision VMs. Second, configure VMs for remote access. Third, create ARM templates. Fourth, create container images for solutions by using Docker. 
5th, publish an image to the Azure Container Registry. 6th, run containers by using Azure Container Instance. Number 2, create Azure App Service Web Apps. It contains 5 subtopics which are First, create an Azure App Service Web App. Second, enable diagnostics logging. Third, deploy code to a web app. Fourth, configure web app settings including SSL, API, and connection strings. Fifth, implement auto-scaling rules, including scheduled auto-scaling, and scaling by operational, or system metrics. Number 3, Implement Azure Functions. It contains three subtopics which are First, implement input and output bindings for a function. Second, implement function triggers by using data operations, timers, and webhooks. Third, implement Azure Durable Functions. Second, develop for Azure Storage. Number 1, develop solutions that use Cosmos DB Storage. It contains seven subtopics which are First, Select the appropriate API for your solution. Second, implement partitioning schemes. Third, interact with data using the appropriate SDK. Fourth, set the appropriate consistency level for operations. Fifth, create Cosmos DB containers. Sixth, implement scaling, partitions, containers. Seventh, implement server-side programming including stored procedures, triggers, and change feed notifications. Number two, Develop solutions that use blob storage. It contains five subtopics which are First, move items in blob storage between storage accounts, or containers. Second, set and retrieve properties and metadata. Third, interact with data using the appropriate SDK. Fourth, implement data archiving and retention. Fifth, implement hot, cool, and archive storage. Third, implement Azure security. Number one. Implement user authentication and authorization. It contains four subtopics which are First, implement OAuth2 authentication. Second, create and implement shared access signatures. Third, register apps and use Azure Active Directory to authenticate users. Fourth, control access to resources by using role-based access controls. Number two, implement secure cloud solutions. It contains four subtopics which are First, secure app configuration data by using the App Configuration and Key Vault API. Second, manage keys, secrets, and certificates by using the Key Vault API. Third, implement managed identities for Azure resources. Fourth, monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize Azure solutions. Number one, integrate caching and content delivery within solutions. It contains two subtopics which are first, Develop code to implement CDNs and solutions. Second, configure cache and expiration policies for front door, CDNs, or Redis caches store, and retrieve data in Azure Redis cache. Number two, instrument solutions to support monitoring and logging. It contains four subtopics which are First, configure instrumentation in an app or service by using application insights. Second, analyze log data and troubleshoot solutions by using Azure Monitor. Third, implement application insights web test and alerts. Fourth, implement code that handles transient faults. Fifth, connect to and consume Azure services and third-party services. Number one, develop an app service logic app. It contains three subtopics which are, first, create a logic app. Second, create a custom connector for logic apps. Third, create a custom template for logic apps. Number two, implement API management. It contains three subtopics which are, first, create an APIM instance. Second, configure authentication for APIs. Third, define policies for APIs. Number three, develop event-based solutions. It contains three subtopics which are, first, implement solutions that use Azure Event Grid. Second, Implement solutions that use Azure Notification Hubs. Third, implement solutions that use Azure Event Hub. Number four, develop message-based solutions. It contains two subtopics which are, first, implement solutions that use Azure Service Bus. Second, implement solutions that use Azure Queue Storage Queues. Now, we will discuss about, preparatory guide for Microsoft Azure Exam AZ204. 
let us discuss some necessary steps in order to prepare for the Microsoft Azure Beta AZ204 exam. First, revise the exam objectives. A denser look at each and every domain of the Microsoft Azure AZ204 exam can give a further indication regarding the aspirations of the exam. Here, is an outline of the domains of the AZ204 exam. Candidates should learn the objectives, if they know what exam wants to test, then it will be easy to prepare for them. First, develop Azure Compute Solutions, 25-30%. Second, develop for Azure Storage, 10-15%. Third, implement Azure Security, 15-20%. Fourth, monitor, troubleshoot, and optimizing the Azure Solutions, 10-15%. Fifth, connect to, and utilize Azure services, and third-party services, 25 to 30 percent. Second, effective study material. Finding effective study material is a challenging task. Here, we are providing a list of the books, for the Microsoft Azure, Beta AZ204 exam which the candidate can refer to. First, exam ref AZ203 developing solutions for Microsoft Azure first edition by Santiago Fernandez Munoz. Second. Microsoft Azure Cloud, Complete Practical Guide for Ultimate Beginners, Step-by-Step -step Azure Cloud Lab Manual by ProTech Gurus. Third, Learn Microsoft Azure, Build, Manage, and Scale Cloud Applications Using the Azure Ecosystem by Mohamed Wali. Third, Refer the Blueprint. The next step for the effective preparation of candidates, is to go for the study guide. The study guide, or the exam guide is available for download on the official certification page. Candidates should download the blueprint of the exam, and find the objectives and relevant information for the exam. The blueprint is a reliable tool to study only for the necessary content for the exam. Fourth, Training Program by Microsoft. Candidates should opt for suitable training courses, by our reliable certification training providers. The principal benefit of such online training courses is, apparent in the ability of expert direction by subject matter experts. Furthermore, the knowledge of all exam topics and appealing tutorial videos, with practical demonstrations gives easier, and effective learning opportunities. Fifth, Practice Tests. Practice tests should constantly be at the greatest priority, of the candidate before appearing for a certification exam. The practice tests are a validated method, for confirming the level of preparation for any exam be it Microsoft Azure, Beta AZ204 exam. This helps the candidate, to gain the benefit of improving their skills in time management, and quick thinking. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.